Learning from Miss Healy's advisory. I'm Greta. And I'm Kaylee. Today is day two. The joke of the day is, what do you call a monkey with a banana in each ear? Anything. He can't hear you. <laughs> <laughs> now let's get a check on the weather with Lindsay. Um, so it's currently 45 degrees and it feels like 39. Next slide, please. Um, so it's warmer down here in the south and colder up here in the north. Next slide, please. Um, it's going to warm up over the week. Still some showers. So now over to sports, Brian. It's back to St. Louis for the Minnesota Wild, who have yet to lead for one second in this stunning opening round series with the Blues. Bruce Brudro Bruce told his team it's like playing game seven. Down a three zip, trying desperately to get to get to game five back at XL Energy Center on Saturday night. We haven't played poorly yet. I don't think we can say we've played bad, but we're down three zip. So we can pat each other on the back all we want, but we were down three zip, Zach Breezy said. A golfer pulled off an incredible nine under par of of wait under par round of 63 Monday, and he's barely old enough to drive a car. 16-year-old Caleb Van Aragon shot a nine under par during, his, during the Blaine in, Inventational at the TPC Twin Cities. The 63 is believed to be the state record for the high school boys. The sophomore had nine birdies, nine pars for the round of 63. Blaine High School coach Kevin Overgaard says that there is no doubt sophomore Van Aragon has to drive to be an elite golfer. He's got plenty. He's got great ability on the course, Overgaard said, but his ability to focus, I've never seen anything like it with a high school player. Coach Overgaard petitioned for Van Aragon to join the varsity team while Van Aragon was still in middle school. As an, as an eighth grader, Van Aragon took third place in the state tournament. Now over to this semester's winning Spanish video. Hola amigos, buenos dias. Seventh grade Spanish classes had a competition to see who would design Rosetta Middle School's best classroom of the future. Applicants had to create an interesting classroom using an app called Homestyler and then create an avatar using the app Telegami to describe the room in Spanish. Applicants had to talk about their items in the classroom, describing them and saying where they were located and why. They also described activities and Start activities and students and teachers to do in class. Several steps led to voting for winner. First, students judged each other's videos applications in class, and only those that included all requirements made it to the semifinalist round. Second, from that round, Miss Budke and Miss Swanson chose the top four finalists. Third of all, seventh grade Spanish students viewed the top four finalists and voted, with the winner being revealed on today's news show. And here's the winner for the third April 2017 Classroom of the Future contest. Hola, yo soy Catalina y esto es mi clase. Mi clase es muy grande. Mi clase está en el primer piso de la escuela. Esta clase y escuela son del futuro. Mi clase está en México. En mi clase tengo muchas cosas como una televisión. La televisión está enfrente de la pared arriba de una mesa. En la televisión, los estudiantes ven partidos de fútbol y otros deportes, porque a veces si la clase termina todas las tareas de historia rápido, ellos pueden ver, ver televisión. O los estudiantes pueden jugar en el medio de la sala, porque en el medio de la sala hay mucho espacio para que, porque todas las sillas están en el lado izquierda o en el lado derecha. Los, las sillas son peludas y blancas. Los estudiantes no tienen pupitres porque en mi clase no los necesitamos dado que en mi clase no escribimos de ni historia, ni matemáticas, ni ciencias, ni inglés. En el medio de la clase al frente hay el escritorio del profe. Encima del escritorio del profe hay dulces mágicos. Los dulces mágicos si los comen te pueden llevar a cualquier lugar en el mundo que tú deseas. Arriba del escritorio del profesor hay un cartel de Nueva York y arriba del cartel de Nueva York hay un reloj de color negro y color oro. Y arriba de eso hay focos colgando de una cadena de metal. Los focos van alrededor de la clase. Eso es nuestra fuente de luz. En el lado izquierdo hay una, una estantería de libros donde los niños leen libros de deportes como gimnasia. Mi deporte favorito. 
También hay libros de fútbol, que es mi segundo deporte favorito, pero yo no juego el fútbol. Hay muchos otros libros de muchos otros deportes, pero esos son unos de mis favoritos. Mi clase es el mejor porque es divertido. Congratulations, Catalina Castillo, who produced this winning video. Catalina, you are the semester's West Middle School Classroom of the Future winner. See Miss Budkey in room 100 for your award. Great job. Excelente. Honorable mentions go, go to Anna Scon, Jenny Morado, and Ashley Rosendahl. Stay tuned for the next Classroom of the Future, coming to you in the fall of 2017. Amigos. Now back to the anchors. Wow, congratulations. Now over to today's announcements. If you take a picture of yourself reading over spring break, be sure to turn it into Miss St. Croix by Friday, April 21st. We have lots of great photos in the Media Center. Stop in and take a look. Do you like adventure? Join the Co-Ed Wayzata Mountain Bike Team, sponsored by Wayzata Community Education for all students in grades 7 through 12. Information sessions for parents and students who will be will be held on May 11th or May 15th at 7 p.m. at Wayzata High School, room B204. Learn more about the team. Visit the Wayzata Mountain Bike Team website found on the district site. Congratulations to Wayzata's West 8th grade 321 team. They finished 7th in the nation last week and qualified for the National Academic Championship. 321 students, please come to room 97 at lunch today, Wednesday, April 19th, to talk to about the competition results and take a picture. Great job, team. This Saturday, April 22nd, is Earth Day. Earth Day was established in 1970 by Gaylord Nelson, a U.S. Senator from Wisconsin, to bring attention to our, to our energy use and how it impacts the environment. With bilateral support from all members of the Congress, Senator Nelson announced the idea of a national teaching of the environment to the media. On, our Earth, on the first Earth Day, more than 20 million people participated in cleaning parks, rivers, and streets, and raising public awareness. Saturday, April 22nd, is Earth, Earth Day. Think about ways you can help to protect the Earth this Saturday. Save energy, pick up trash, fix, fix a le leaky faucet, ride your bike to a practice rather than getting in a ride with a family car, or even hug a tree. Together, we can make a difference. Now back to the anchors. Today for lunch is soft shell beef taco, vegetarian beef taco, deli sandwich entree salad with sides of assorted fixings, refried beans, fresh veggies, and fresh fruit choices. The quote of the day is, many are called but few get up by Oliver Herford. Thanks, Thanks for watching and have an awesome day. Yeah, too.